All right, guys. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to um, chip a Digi Digi Font Two ECU. And um, first tip is to buy a spare so you can keep your original one, just in case. Um, just so that um, if anything goes wrong with the electronics, um, your ECU or the chip goes wrong and it gets burnt, you're not left with a dead car. Then you'll have um, your spare, your original one. So just get just get a spare if you intend on chipping, right? Um, took me forever, only because you know these are old cars, and so um, especially up here where it snows and stuff, um, the bolts. I mean, well, the screws were a little rusty. So, um, so first you take it off the car, of course, and then it would have three uh, three of these bolts here. One one here. And then two on this end, which holds it to the metal frame. So you just take those uh, screws off, and metal metal frame comes off, right? Once the metal bracket comes off, um, you'll have four tiny screws here, holding the actual ECU to um, its plastic case. The plastic case is to protect it from, you know, like um, for keep it from getting wet. So, um, and that's where I ran into a lot of trouble. A lot of these screws are like really rusty guys. And so um, I've done everything as far as dowsing them in um, PB blaster and letting them soak for 20 minutes. I've hammered down on the actual um, screws. So what I've done was like after dowsing them in PB blaster, I would like hold my, my screwdriver down like that and just bash it in with a, screw, uh, um, with a hammer to see if it can um, kind of loosen it and um, and just wasn't having any luck. And so I've, I've tried other things that people told me to like use a rubber band for grip and all that other crap. But, um, you know, I was able to muscle through um, three and then there was one left that just wouldn't budge and got all rounded out. So I, I for that, I used a Dremel, right? So, I mean, like at your own risk, guys, um, do, do what you can to get those four um, screws off. As soon as you get them off, it just pulls out like that, right? And this is where orientation, this is where you need to be really careful with the orientation, right? So you take your um, screwdriver and you have to undo all these screws. So. We're just going to do it like this. Okay, everything's still intact. Now, this is where we refer to the notes here. So this chip, Digifast 2, is a pretty cheap um, chip. Hold on, let me focus on that. Um, a guy by the name of VW Pilot, hold on, let me, let me zoom in. Yeah, Digifast 2. So uh, a guy by the name of um, VW Pilot makes these chips. And you can get them from for like forty bucks shipped on eBay, and he's been in the um, in the Volkswagen scene for like twenty something years. So um, I wouldn't buy it otherwise. And he it, it comes with installation instructions. So for this particular style chip, um, what you want to do, uh, this chip stays in. I mean this, uh, yeah, this chip stays intact. The one you want to replace 
is this chip. Okay, and it's really important. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna point it out with my um, screwdriver here. Let's zoom in. It's really important on this chip to pay attention to where the indent is. So see how it's indented on this side? It's a little hard to see. And you can't get my camera down because it's on a tripod. But it's indented on this side. When we um, install the uh, Digi chip, where'd it go? Hang on just one sec. If I could just find it, yeah. So when we install the Digi chip, we want that same indentation to be facing that same side. Otherwise you'll short the ECU. And I've already done that before with a different chip. Trust me, I know. So the key to this is to just work very slow. So you'll have to lift, I guess, one side at a time. All right, guys, I didn't, I'm sorry um, I didn't show the process of doing it, but basically this is the chip here. How I got it off was I used a um, small screwdriver. Sorry, I'm not sure if that's focusing. But like that. So I just use a really small screwdriver and work. Um, make sure you pry, but not um, by exerting force on the platform underneath, like let me show you the platform here. This platform underneath, make sure you don't apply pressure on that. Just basically um, get under there with a small screwdriver and pull up and do it on this side first. And once that gives a little, do it on this side. And eventually the chip will come off. And here's your chip, here's the original chip. It's a little bent, but it should still work okay. Let's put that away. Now let's install the Digi2 chip. The DigiFast chip, I mean. And remember how I said orientation is very important. So the indent was on this side facing up. So that's how we're gonna install this chip as well. So just make sure that everything's lined up and just push down. And it's installed, just like that. All right, now we just have to hope and pray that it works when we plug into the ECU. I mean, plug into the car. So let's reassemble carefully here. It's just another check just to make sure that it's on there. Make sure the holes line up. Kind of weird here. All right, holes line up. It's a good thing we saved the orientation of the screw so we don't forget.
All right, guys, so now we figure out if uh, this chip TCU is legit. So I've undone the cover on the ECU over there. We're going to replace that ECU, but before we do that, we're going to do we're going to undo the battery and make sure everything's safe. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, easy is plugged in. Now we reconnect the battery. Alright, batteries in. Finally, instructions say to disconnect the uh, coolant temperature sensor, which is this blue sensor down here. Where is it? Right here, this blue sensor right there. I don't know if you can see it behind all that wire, all those wires. Alright, so we unplug that, start the car and rev it, rev it past 3K four times to reset the ECU. All right. So we'll just go ahead and unplug that. All right, so that's unplugged. All right, so now we uh, start the car and rev the engine past 3K four times. Here goes nothing. One. Two. Three. Let's try that again. Alright guys, that's her running on the new chip. New chip DCU. Um, I think we have to mess with the uh, idle screw a little bit. But yeah, she runs. Um, I'm going to let her warm up. And we'll take her for a spin. And I'll give you guys my feedback on if I feel the chip did anything for me. But right now it looks like it's idle it is idling a bit better. I know it's hard to believe because that actually sounds like crap, but yep. It's idling better. Let's give it a rev. 
Yeah, it sounds way better. Alright, well, let's uh, turn it off, bolt the ECU down, and give it and take it for a spin.